Two years ago, Ada Soydash was diagnosed with breast cancer. She knows what it's like to fall apart. Up in the morning, it was a Sunday, and I looked at my pillow and I had all the hair all over my pillow. So I started feeling my hair and as I kept doing this, it just kept coming out in chunks. And I was so devastated that I wore a wig to work the next day, even though all my hair had fallen out because it was just, it was so much of it was falling out, I couldn't brush it. So that night I just shaved what was left off and it was the most distressing thing. When I looked in the mirror, I was devastated, I was in tears. With successful therapy, Ada has recovered. She now donates her three favourite wigs to lift other patients' spirits. Wigs helped a lot. Like, I used to wear a different colour wig every day depending on how I felt. So, and they help. People don't know unless they stare and they, you know, unless you tell them. The wigs are the first for the Royal Prince Alfred's new wig library, funded by the Sydney Breast Cancer Foundation. Anyone will be able to come and access the wig wig here. We're hoping that the public will help us to, do, to raise more funds to enable us to buy more wigs and not just wigs but also other headwear. Um, some people find wigs a little itchy and prefer to wear a scarf or a turban and we're bridging that, that need as well. The wigs will be free instead of the two to three hundred dollar cost. 200 wigs a year will be needed to help others like Ada.